Okay, so to as an example, I'm going to solve this problem, right? When, uh, how to use, how to simplify a circuit and actually calculate to find the unknowns in the circuit. And I'm, I, I chose the, the problem 26 from Halin and Resnick textbook. So, and what is this problem? So a capacitor three, here's the capacitor three. Let me here. Red. This capacitor here uh, is a variable capacitor. Is a variable and right the capacitance is in uh, related to the to the tension here this uh, voltage v1 yeah but i'm going to use this later let's uh, reading uh, so this figure is here gives the electric potential v1 across capacitor one so i'm relating these two capacitors here and the horizontal scale is set by C3S equals 12 uh, millifarad. Yeah. Micro. Wrong here. Wait. Time being. Wrong here. Not me. Micro. Farad. keep going electric potential v1 approaches one asymptote of 10 volts as c3 goes to infinity tends to infinity what are the electric potential v across the battery and this is item a and item b c1 and item b to calculate the capacitance of capacitor one and the capacitor and item c is to calculate the capacitance of capacitor Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is actually use what you just learned. I'm going to associate these two capacitors here. I'm going to write like a equivalent circuit because then it's going to be easy to calculate everything. So I know for these two here, since they are in parallel, I'm going to call this, this capacitance here, capacitance C sub three this is going to be capacitor going to be some are in parallel c3 and and I have I have, for example, this equivalence here. I have one here. I have one. Eight. Okay. So second, have some problem. And Microsoft. And guys, I'm not going again. I'm going to take two. So, and then you have to associate these two, right? You have to find the equivalent resistance for these two capacitors. So, this equivalent.
get that one one try this right since I just calculated this capacitance here. Work magic here. Magic that's like <laughs> some algebra, some algebraic manipulation here in this expression. I can rewrite this as the I think this uh, I'm going to run. Um, I know that the charge capacitor going to be equivalent capacitance by stage and Here. Let's see what else I know. Charge in the capacitor going to be one V one. Stages. I'm going to write and since well, these these elements are in this right side. I don't need to. I don't need this. Texas and just use where go ahead. Actually, I don't need uh, to be here. Going to be what I'm okay, guys. Uh, just let me space it here so you can follow. I'm just substituting the equation two now in this equation three. I think this is. I'm going to get one one 
and capacitance time divided by C1. Okay, and I have one expression for the equivalent capacitance here, so I I can see here actually. Expression right here. Right here, so this is going to give me a little bit of algebra. In here, this is going to give me V1 equals to 1 plus plus it. So this denominator. The rear is going C two plus C three. Multiply by H the battery, the source. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, now I have a way to relate these two voltages. And I think now it's easy to solve the problem. Because look, we are going to use the condition that the problem is, is told us, inform us. Uh, as V1 approaches an asymptote of 10 volts as C3 goes to let's Let's analyze this limit. See what happens here. Let's use the, the condition that the problem gave, gave us. So this one. Going to be this limit here. Going ending and to infinity of this expression here. And this one and volt. As you can see, guys, this term here is going to be this limit here. If it goes to infinity, right? This is going to be one. So that means that the V one is going to be ten ten volts. Still. Okay, you have one result. Potential V. This is Titan A. Let's try to make item. Uh, let's solve for item B. Item B. Okay, we have. If you look at the this graph, we have the one point here. We have the V one for the points for uh, when C three is equal zero, and this is going to be two volts. Can so be uh, enough. We know that the the charges are the same, right? Definitely the same. In this case, C three is zero. That means the, the the two capacitors are in series. That means that they have the same charge. We can re, uh, we can use 
the definition of the capacitance here so you can rewrite this as c1 c1 going to be c2 We know these values here, this is going to be 2 HC2 And you have one result that we can use later To check our results, that's C1 uh, is four times C or or let's check some values here, guys, from the graph. What do we get here? Uh, and use the A small interruption here guys small interruption I'm going to use this equation again the equation that I that I, I found I think I'm going to use this point here this is going to be 6 and this is going to be 5 So I'm going to substitute this guy here. You know, of the force. So P1 goes here, and I have this point here. C3 is going to be here. And here. See what it's going to give me. So this is. Going to jump some steps here, guys, to make this faster. Going to F. Two. Plus six. Divided by five C. So and if I solve these guys have if I solve C here two
can check my calculator and finally item C so item C eight one and C here right I just have to see one one is going to be four times microfarad one, one example of how to use concept of equivalent capacitance to calculate like the unknowns in the circuit yeah i hope you like guys okay, this everything is on my lecture notes very well explained so don't worry.